Merry Christmas and happy holidays, artists. Thanks for joining me in today's lesson. I'm excited to do a little Snoopy. What do you say? Grab some white paper, pencil, eraser, a black felt tip pen is what I used for the outlines. And let's see here, you choose whether you want colored pencils, markers, or crayons. All right, let's get started. I put mine horizontal, so long way across. Let's start with a, a nice sharp pencil. We're gonna draw out our idea and then we add color. Okay, let's do this in two steps, two phases, all right? So this is the middle of my page. We're gonna create the rooftop of this doghouse. It's not really our 3D rules, but this is a cartoon um, from the olden days. <laughs> And we're going to follow the the way the artist has this okay so find the middle of your page we're going to go a little above that and we're going to draw the top of the doghouse how wide do you want your doghouse i think that's pretty good i think that's pretty good now on both sides of your doghouse you're going to pull a line down okay away from each other so I'm starting at this on the ends of this line and I'm coming away from it, not too far. Okay, you don't want to go way out here. Just let this be a little wider and then come down. Oh, oh, not too far. And let's just put a line across. Okay, look how sloppy that is. I can always go back and clean it up. Keep the lines I want, get rid of the ones I don't. Okay, you got it? Good not a it's not a square it's not a rectangle it's a parallelogram oh my goodness how on earth did i remember that that's crazy now if i'm wrong you let me know <laughs> you can tell me it's okay now we have two lines coming down for the the inside of the doggy house right and then let's look over here we need the thickness of this wood coming across so i have an extra line here with two lines coming toward, totally breaks all the 3D rules that we have, but that's okay. Mr. Snoopy is allowed to have different rules. Now for the bottom here, we want lumps of snow. So let's just do nice big lumps. We want some big, some little, that's kind of a weird one. There we go. And some curve blowing out and right at the edge we want one to come from behind let's pull that out behind probably not so wavy i'm thinking of waves i don't have snow here in houston so i don't remember what it looks like being born in colorado only lasts for so long and then i forget so i don't remember i don't remember snow can you help me i love snow now now that you have your snow mounds uh, let's just take off the top of the doghouse. I can still see a little bit of my line. That is my goal. I still want to see a little bit of my line. Now the head of Snoopy, I want to have a nice circle right here. Okay, that looks more like an oval. Go for it. Do an oval. And then at the top, let's do the snout, which is to me, potato okay that's the funniest dog head I've ever done <laughs> let's connect it so that it doesn't look so weird now let's come from the the top of the head well actually I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna curve to join that did you see how I did that curve that around so we don't need this part okay we don't need that part now watch we're gonna curve up around and instead of following the potato we're just going to use it as a thickness guide just like that you see how we did that perfect 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 we did it now let's put a little nose on the very top it's just an oval just an oval there you go it's snoopy sleeping give him a squinty eye let him sleep and doggies have ears right puppy dog ears Let's flop this one down. So do a nice long line, curvy back. Don't make it the same thickness. I kind of gave it a little curve here, just to give it a little shape and then erase that line. 
go ahead and erase right there. Perfect so far. And let's see here, the belly, the belly. Let's draw the belly over here. I'm gonna put a circle right there for the, the belly. And then the feet, a little further down, we're gonna do an oval here. Okay, let's connect all these, you ready? Okay, good. So from the neck, we're going to put on a dog collar. So curve this, pull it down, curve another, curve another line. Let's make that the dog collar. Connect the head to it. Good, excellent, you did it. My lines are really thick. They're gonna be hard to cover. So from here, we want to go up over that belly, over that belly. See how we did that? Perfect. And then we're gonna come down and pull the leg out to the foot. Look at how easy that is. And then we're gonna go up the top of the, the uh, oval. Okay, you got it so far. And we're gonna pull a line in and another line in and curve. Those are toes. You got it. Then go down, curve around. Notice if I'm going a little too fast, you guys can hit pause, okay? You can do it, you can do it. Don't, don't get frustrated, don't, don't get upset, don't quit. You just pause, that's all you have to do. I'm going fast because I don't want to bore you. You know, I could be sitting here telling a lot of jokes. No, I'm just kidding, I won't do that. I won't do that. Whoa, let's see here. We need the little paw, so let's put a little letter U right here. Good, you, you're doing good? Okay, let's connect that arm right here and over here. Now watch what you can do. We're gonna pull this back toward his uh, collar. Just don't touch that. And then give him the paw lines. Ta-da, we're doing it, we're doing it. Now he needs one more foot that we can see. The other um, arm we cannot see. So we're gonna be putting another leg here, further back, a little smaller, and tuck that in there. Ta-da! You guys are awesome. Now let's add some lights. I, I'm pretending he's holding up the lights right here. He's like, I forgot the nails and they're down on the ground and I can't go get them. So he's holding up the lights here. So let's do a curve and tuck it around. And then this side, let's go down, droop it down and curve it around. And then he's got it drooping down here and it's touching the bottom of the roof here. This nice edge, right? There we go. I have them on even because that's a Snoopy type of thing, right? Snoopy does things his own way. <laughs> I'm telling you, my Wesley does things his own way. He is so silly, right? Let's see here. We got minions, we got, we got the ornament dudes. I have allergies, so I sound like a frog. Love me anyway, love me anyway, love me anyway. And let's see here, who's baking something yummy for, for the holiday seasons? Ooh, you can draw this one. Pushin's our favorite. How did you do? Did you get it? Okay, I was giving you a second. So the light bulbs, um, we just put a little square. Okay, just some weird random shape of a, of a square. And then we droop and pull it back. Okay, these are weird giant light bulbs. So you go down and down. That's how you can do it. But you gotta watch the direction your lights are. Just watch me a few times and you'll get how easy this is. And you're gonna go, oh, okay, I got it. So I'm just putting a little, it's like a block of letter C. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in really good for you. A block letter C, watch this, and then curve down and curve down. I don't make the bottom very pointed, so I round it out. Not all of them look the same either. That's okay. This is just a fun cartoon. So follow your string around. Try to give enough spacing that it all looks totally cool. And I'm going to start right in this area to make sure that I have enough room to space them. And they're all pointed down. Okay, Gravity is pulling them down um, toward the ground. So let's just do that right away. 
and not all of them are the same shape and size and that is super fun okay are your light bulbs like mine or, or do you have like stars or something my my daughter bought me flamingo lights so if i was really really talented <laughs> i'd be doing flamingo lights you think snoopy would have would be okay with flamingo lights i think he's like cool with anything he's a cool doggy do you have a cool doggy I have foster doggies. They're pretty hilarious. They entertain us all the time, all the time. They keep us very, very busy. But my Wesley, he's the one that barks a lot in my videos because he's protecting me while we draw. Okay, look, I did it. I did it. I think I want to have one. Nah, I don't want another one right there. It might mess up my, my work. So really that's it guys, that's as hard as it gets, okay? We, we, we broke it down, we made it as simple as possible, and now the fun part begins. We get to color it. Now what I like to do is outline it in a black flare tip pen, okay? You can outline it, give it some color, put the detail on. You can outline it first or you can color it first. It's up to you. I like to do Snoopy first because he is the center of attention for me okay if there's a dog around it's all about the dog right do you love dogs now inside of the ear i just go back and forth back and forth back and forth and just fill in that space you see how quick i did that i didn't i didn't focus on any particular movement and up again the nose is the same the cartoonist was really fun really easy wanted you to fall in love with a real cute, sweet doggy. Because who couldn't fall in love with a cute, sweet doggy, right? Okay, let's see here. We've got to outline. Woo, I went a little too far over that. That's okay, it's cute. It's cute, so we're just outlining this. If you need to fix anything, change anything, now's the time. When you're done, let your ink dry. And then you can erase some of those lines, those underlined drawings that we have here and get rid of those because I have so many um, on there. So let's see here. I'm gonna outline the little house and get the rooftop going. This is always so much fun. What do you say? Are you having fun? Did you beat me already? Did you, did you get everything taken care of already? You are awesome. Let's see here. I'm already doing the light strings. Why not? There we go, yes. And the snow bumps. Snow bumps. Now, how do you shade snow to make it have some depth and some, some more texture to it? I love to take my black, um, what am I thinking? My black colored pencil. Thank you. I knew you were gonna help me. Black colored pencil and shade with my black colored pencil. Now I'm not going to have any specific pattern to this because I think that just takes up too much um, thought process when I just want to have fun and, and relax. So I'm just going to pick some different light bulb spaces, um, try to space them apart and just color these in. Okay, so I'm just, I'm not taking a lot of time to do it, but I'm just picking some and going for it. And I'm using a circular motion. I'm gonna use green. What is this color? This is vert. Oh, wait, permanent green. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna read the French. <laughs> Sometimes I did take French in high school a couple of years, but whew, don't need to challenge myself right now. Woo! You guys are hilarious. You are so fun to draw with. Let me tell you. And nothing could be better than drawing with you. I love it. I love it. Let's see. I'm going to add some orange. Orange makes it pop. Think of being outside in the dark time, dark, 
darkness of the night. Wow, that was hard for me to get out. And woohoo, be so pretty. There we go, I did it. You see how quickly we're just buzzing along? I'm gonna take my felt tip and that's what I'm gonna fill these in. Okay, so I just trace that and then go around the light bulb. Okay, just fill in that, go around it. Now's the time to fix any really sharp light bulbs that you have. And again, you don't have to stay with me, okay? You can pause me, you can watch and then draw, decide how you want yours to look. It's going to look exactly like the original Snoopy on the doghouse, or you want to create your very own. That is really cool. Okay, I love when you guys take your imagination and create something really, really out of your own ideas. I'm here just to inspire and you come up with your own extras. How's that? Is it snowing around Snoopy? Are you going to draw snow? What about Woodstock? Are you going to put Woodstock anywhere in the, in the picture? Are you going to maybe put a stocking hanging on the doghouse? Oh, that's a cute idea. Oh, yeah. What do you say about that? Well, I am really having fun drawing with you guys. This is way too much fun. I need a black. I have a couple of friends I want to say hi to. Let's see here. This is dark green. That's not going to work. Let's see. My friend Sierra that started um, drawing with me and Cooper. He loves drawing with me and my live classes. Hey, Coop. Hey, Zane. Let's see. Who else is there? Madeline and Julia. I love drawing with my friends. Who else is drawing with me, Elizabeth? You tell me if you are drawing with me and I don't want to say hi to you, okay? I love drawing with my friends. I'm just going to take my black colored pencil and put some shading on here because Snoopy needs a little 3D pop, I'm thinking. Okay, he's not all about flatness here. Let's let him pop a little. This foot back here, I'm gonna shade a little. Oh yeah, this is this is turning out really awesome. Now I'm gonna take my red colored pencil and I am taking it on its side so I can get that gritty look to my doghouse. And I'm gonna take my time getting all around this, okay? I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna go darker underneath Snoopy because he's just, you know, adding a little uh, cast shadow onto the doghouse. I'm going to go down the edge like this so that I can make sure I get a nice clean edge. But along the doghouse, I want to go back and forth. Okay, go back and forth because I want it to look like the wood grain. Now, if you're not really into details, that's okay, but I want you to focus on just having a lot of fun and, and doing a really good job, doing the best job that you have ever done. Okay, today's the day to do the best job, have some fun. Are you gonna make this for a gift for somebody? Ooh, ooh a gift? What about it, Jonathan? Are you gonna give this as a gift? I think that would be cool. And Caitlin, let's give this as a gift. Who wouldn't like a Snoopy? on a doghouse with all the Christmas lights for a Christmas gift. Oh, that's really cute idea. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. Whatever. That's so nice. You can be so thoughtful sometimes, right? Woohoo! Okay, guys, I think we are almost there. What do we need to do? We need to add our signature so we can own it. And I do want to add some little uh, wood lines up here. So let's come down just a little and put really light some dash lines going across. That looks like the wood is going horizontal and come down a little more. Make sure not to do anything to mess up your lights, okay? Don't mess up those beautiful lights. And for shading, you can add just a little bit of pen down here where this is an overhang just to show some more shading. I think the colored pencil might not be dark enough, so I'm gonna add that. 
And let's see the wood grain on this one as well. Maybe the wood is just a little bit smaller. So we're gonna add smaller planks of wood down here. And of course, I'm gonna sign my name. Boom, how cool is that? All right, guys, we have a lot of fun and during the holiday season, don't we? We create so many things. I mean, what do we have here? We have the Nutcracker lesson. What do you say? We have, oh, the colors I use. <laughs> of course, the Grinch has to visit. What do you say? The Grinch. It's the Grinch. Have you tried any of my other holiday drawings? We have drawings. We have the fun of putting creative things inside of our snow globe. I mean, how cool is that? And this one, this guy got all the fun. He got all the fun in his snow globe. The snowballs, the candy cane, the lights. Oh, a Christmas train, a snowman. Oh, the list goes on and on. You know it. You can find everything at keepdrawing.com. Yes. Oh, and of course you can add color to these. We add paint. We, when you draw, you draw them on. You can draw, there we go. The camera is just obnoxious today, I don't know. You can draw them on your watercolor paper and then paint them. How exciting is that? We did that with the puppy dog, the puppy in the Santa's hat. We drew it on our watercolor paper and then painted it together. How cool, you know it, you know it. Now, if you have something fun you want me to draw, you just let me know, okay? You get a mom or a dad or a grandma or aunt and you tell them, please let Miss Albright know. I wanna draw my toys. It doesn't have to be a holiday theme, okay? Whatever you want, let's draw it. You guys are awesome. I hope you have a very safe and blessed holiday. All right. God bless and I'll see you in the next class.